hello teachers in this tutorial i'll show you how to download google classroom and how to create a class first of all open the play store just type google classroom then install this google classroom it will take some time depends upon your internet connectivity after installation you have to sign in in the google classroom i'll open it so uh, first time when after installing it will show like this so click on get started now i have to sign in in google classroom so i have to use my gmail account i may have options of different gmail accounts suppose if i am signing in from some different account then i can add the account but here i am signing in from the same this my account okay so this is the home screen in your google classroom as already i have two classes here class ip and so i'll here if you want to create a new classroom for your subject then you have to just click on this plus icon then create a class in a uh, creating a class there are some instructions are there just click on this okay and continue so here class name is required here you can set your class name suppose uh, you are taking class 4 5th class you can set this 5th and name it as science or you can uh, name it like science fifth you can assign any name depends upon your requirement or your choice you can set the name of the class science fifth then you have to name the section set uh, section section room and subjects that are optional only so you can use these fields for some other purpose also for sections you can just add the name of the section suppose we have a or b and even you can add the number of the students also in the room suppose you are in your class you have 24 students so you can use this field for this purpose then in the subject you have to mention the name of the subject this is also optional but you can mention suppose you have named it as science After entering this, click on this create. It will take some time. It will create a class for you. Okay, now one class is created named as science fifth section a so this is the home screen for my class here i can just share whatever the documents i want to share with my class just click on this share with your class i'll click here and i can write the message here read this i can write anything just want to share it with my class read this topic and if beside this message i want to attach something just click on this and i can just attach any file from the drive from the link also i can take any photograph i can record a video or i can create a new pdf we have different options are here suppose i am having some file so i'll just select on that file suppose this file is there I can attach any image from here suppose I'm this and just press on this icon to send so this message is shared with your class if you want to see the message you just click on this read the topic and you can just click on the attachment so you can see 
beside this uh, what you can do is here is uh, just go to the classwork in classwork option uh, you can have different options for giving the uh, assignments or uh, taking any test for multiple choice questions or short answer type questions just go on the class and here just click on this plus icon here we have options assignment question material you can just uh, use any of the suppose i want to give the assignment click on the assignment i can name the title of the assignment like assignment one you can name anything you can write the description you can give the points also suppose you want to give the marks for the assignment you can set the due date for the assignment suppose i have set here you can name the topic of the assignment suppose i am uh, doing some topic in the science suppose energy is there my assignment is regarding energy so i can just set that also write the description and you can just uh, upload the questions for the assignments in the same way like i am having here you just attach that file or the assignment and just click on the send button students can view this students can only view this file would you like to make a copy for each student or let student edit this file instead student you can check here options either student can edit the file or student can just view depends upon you and assign so in this way you have assigned the assignment to the students so in the same way you can just click on this plus icon and you can have question session also just type the question and you can uh, have the same points for the question due date topic and either the, this is a short or long type suppose i am having a question like the what is energy and that is of two marks question for the students save this no due date topic uh, short answer type question i want to select it as a short answer type question student can edit answer if i'll click on yes then student can ed edit answer otherwise student cannot edit the answer after submitting just click on this so here the one question is posted in the student or in my class that what is energy so student that is of two points student can answer well whenever the students will answer uh, we can just uh, check here that also i'll show how we can give the answer in other tutorial just click on this if you want to have multiple choice questions just click on this name the question here then we can select instead of short we can have multiple choice name of the question here and then ca we can have options here we can just adding the options here and we can post here so in this way we can just create the assignment test for the students we can have uh, who uh, which students have submitted the assignment all the details we can have in our classroom beside this we can invite the student also we can add the uh, students also using their gmail accounts so just click on people if you want to add the students just click on the students and add option you can uh, enter the email address of the student and you can send the invite to the students so this is one option here you can uh, create the classrooms and in this left side options button you can have you can see for teaching you are taking two classes i have created here science fifth and one class ip in the same way you can have enrolled class suppose if you have enrolled in some other class you can uh, that can be shown here 
other we have archives class options classroom folders whatever the folders whatever the assignment you are taking from the students that all is getting stored in your google drive and in your google drive you can have folders like your name of the class like class fifth day ip class class second day so from here you can check Beside this, if you would, uh, want to change the theme of the class, you can just uh, want to change the name. Uh, you can uh, upload the photo for a particular class. Beside mobile app, you can go in the Google Chrome. In the URL, you have to type classroom.google.com. After entering that, your that same classroom will be opened here so i am having these classes two classes i have created one class i have joined so i'll click on my class here i am having options see you can see my class code also and you can upload a photo for your class you can change select the theme for your class so these are some options that are available here so in uh, after logging in through your google account you can have more options for your class now again i'll just show you what are the different other options after joining the class i have to open the class again now i have created one class class ip i'll open this see here i have enrolled one student here just to show you a demo suppose i click on this i am having one student like uh, it is showing here uh, this icon is for me dependent hole and one maths part sala that is uh, one student is there so whoever will uh, just submit the assignment you can just check from here see one student has submit the assignment you can just check the uh, students who have submitted the questions and uh, who have not submitted well, here full form of um, that my question is full form of isp whenever any students will just give the answer uh, see here you can see the answer for the particular and you can just click on the return and the same whatever the response you are giving to the student that is showing in the student account beside this again i have created one more question a short answer type question just i'll click on this question see here my question is what is a computer network that is of two points that means two marks question is there what is students answer here only one student is there so answer of that student just click on the name of the student that is when two or more system interconnect that forms a network so if the answer is correct you can just give the marks and you can just click on the return so in this way this classroom app will work so after uh, using two or three times uh, you can see uh, it will work uh, fine for the students uh, regarding assignments regarding question question uh, bank and you can just give the assignments you can just select the short answer type questions for the student and students can submit the answers in the same way so from here in my classroom here instead of stream while i'll click on the classroom here i can see in my class ip i have given two questions it is showing here in the people only one student is there i can see here from here you can just add the student and you can remove the students also so this is all about the google classroom one main point remaining in this tutorial that is how to check the password or reset the password of your classroom just click on the classroom suppose here i am having class fifth as my class so click on this class on the top one option is their setting click on this in general here i am having class code class code you just send this class code to the students or you can just invite the student according to the mail ids 
here one we have option also to disable class code and to reset the class code if i'll reset this class code it will reset to some different class code you cannot uh, set class code for uh, of your own just you have to reset the class code so in this way you can check the class code and you can reset the class code and save button